guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. This is going to be a pretty straightforward video. Basically, we're just going to be going over my entire bookshelf and just kind of seeing what I have, taking inventory. And then after Christmas, I will be doing another sequel video and we'll see how many books I earned or will receive as presents because, well, my all my Christmas lists were books pretty much. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna see how many books I've earned, I'll earn on Christmas, and you know, just kind of see how much my bookshelf expands. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're starting at the very top of my bookshelf, as you can see. Um, we have The Nico Hat, which isn't technically a book, but I don't really care. Um, The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, Mark of Athena, House of Hades, Blood of Olympus, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods and Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, The Burning Maze, The Tyrant's Tomb, which is in fact signed, and, um, just slide that back in. And um, you sh if you have watched my other videos before, you should probably know this, but um, Tower of Nero is signed. I have a signed copy sticker as well as his signature. And moving on from the Percy Jackson section, or just Rick Riordan in general, I suppose, we have the Coven. Um, signed book, book plate by Shannon Messenger, Iggy vinyl sticker, um, Keeper of the Lost Cities, Exile, Everblaze, Never Seen, Lodestar, Nightfall, and Unlocked. We also have Top Secret Files World War II, which a friend gave me after he realized I was interested in World War II. Yes, I do, in fact, actually enjoy history. Please don't hate me for that. And my inky sticker will not stand up. Okay. These witches don't burn. Um, Star Wars Before the Awakening, Star Wars Force Collector, and that's it for the top shelf. Let's move on to the metal shelf. All right, here we have Harry Potter, a journey through a history of magic, tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch through the ages, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, and Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. We have a pop figure of Luna Lovegood, a quill and ink set that I bought from Barnes and Noble for Christmas two years ago, maybe three years ago. And moving on, in the Wings of Fire section, we've got the Dragonette Prophecy, the Lost Area, the Hidden Kingdom, the Dark Secret, um, the Brightest Night, Moon Rising, Winter Turning, Escaping Peril, Talons of Power, Darkness of Dragons, the Lost Continent, the Hive Queen, the Poison Queen, the, uh, the Poison Jungle, sorry. Um, the legend wings of fire legends dark stalker and legends dragon slayer yes this is not wings of fire it's a discord figurine from my little pony it's not wings of fire but it's still technically a dragon well, draconicus if you're a my little pony fan but i'm putting it here because it's a dragon sort of and i also have a lego elves dragon that i built it's also in the Wings of Fire section because, like, I don't actually have any Wings of Fire figurines, but I figured other dragons would be the next best thing. Moving on, we have Warriors, Fire and Ice, Crowfeather's Trial, the Silent Thaw, Veil of Shadows, Graystripe's Vow, Physics of Star Trek, and Minecraft Guide to Creative. Now let's move to the bottom shelf and it's still not entirely finished on the bottom, but um, let's let's go through it anyways. 
All right, we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, Fallen An City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, which I'm actually reading right now, so please, no spoilers after, like, chapter two of City of Lost Souls, and no spoilers for Heavenly Fire, please. We also have the Shadow Hunters Codex, Grimm's Fairy Tales, the uh, Eastern Press edition, and Aesop's Fables, also Eastern Press. Aesop, Grimm and Anderson, Harvard Classics, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, with the gold pages. And after that, it's just kind of more like, not really fiction books, it's more like schoolwork and that kind of thing. Oh, I do also have this book, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, which is actually a really great book. The end is kind of sad, but it's also technically my English, it's technically my English assignment. But yeah, I, that's it. And I also have my Nook Glow Light Plus, although it's broken right now, so I'm really mad at Barnes & Noble. Um, all of the missing books, like, like the skips in the series maybe, and like Sorcerer's Stone, Order of the Phoenix, or like the rest of Rick Riordan's books because I have read all of them. Stuff like that are all on my nook, which is broken. I also have some other series that I don't have any paperbacks on. But yeah, that's it for my bookshelf. Hi guys, it is December 25th. 9.07 a.m. Um, 2020. These are all of the books that I got for Christmas. And these to the left here, Omen of the Stars, complete series in a boxed set, is from my parents. The Lunar Chronicles entire series box set is also from my parents. And from my sister, I got the Royals, the Complete Series by Megan Montero. And then from my grandparents, I got the entire Percy Jackson and the Olympian boxed set, their paperbacks, and it came with a poster, which I already put on my wall. And finally, from my aunt, I have the uh, Coven Elemental Magic, all six books, and then the sequel novella. I have no idea why I felt like showing that. <laughs> okay, so let's put these on my bookshelf, which you can see I already started taking apart and everything's falling over. And we'll see how much my bookshelf has grown and if I even have room to put everything on because as you can see, the very end is filled. I guess I'll have to stack something. Okay, let's get into this. All right, so I just finished moving everything around and yeah, if you couldn't guess, um, not everything fit. So I just took out some of like my school workbooks and I'll probably just put it somewhere in a drawer on my desk. And um, some of the fairy tale books won't fit, so I'll probably just ask my sister to put those on her bookshelf. So let's get started, okay? We've got Percy Jackson and the Olympians boxed set, the Nico hat, Heroes of Olympus set, um, Percy Jackson and Annabeth chase pop figures, Percy Jackson's Greek gods and Percy Jackson's Greek heroes, the burning maze, the tyrant's tomb, the tower of Nero, both of these are signed. And then in the coven, we have the Lost Witch, the Brave Witch, Rebel Witch, Broken Witch, Eternal Witch, Aether Witch, and Fire Witch, which is the entire Elemental Magic series, plus the sequel, uh, the sequel novella, Fire Witch. And then Coven, School of Magical Arts. And then The Royals by Megan Montero. Um, and then a couple of just like standalone books. This is a book on zodiac signs. This one is the physics of Star Trek. 
And then these witches don't burn by Elizabeth S I Isabel Sterling. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's it for shelf one. Let's move to shelf two. On shelf two, we have Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic, Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hollows, and The Cursed Child. And then we have a Quill and Ink set from Barnes & Noble, and a pop figure of Luna Lovegood. Keeper of the Lost Cities, the first five books, boxed set. Nightfall and Book 8.5 Unlocked, Sticker of Iggy, and a signed book light by Shannon Messenger from the 2020 tour. And then we have the Lunar Chronicles boxed set, which I have yet to read. And I I, I saw a lot of reviews, said it was pretty good. Acquaint an acquaintance of mine said it was pretty good, so I have high hopes for this series. Then Star Wars Before the Awakening and Star Wars Force Collector. And we're moving to shelf three. So here I had to do a little stacking. So we'll just go along. Um, the first five books of Wings of Fire in a box set. Books six through ten in the boxed set. And then The Lost Continent, The Hive Queen and the Poison Jungle. And then Legends Darkstalker and Legends Dragon Slayer. Up here we have Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Warriors Fire and Ice. Warriors Omen of the Star boxed set. Crow Feathers Trial, Silent Thaw, Veil of Shadows, Gray Stripes Vow. Mortal Instruments boxed set, including the Shadow Hunters Codex, Top Secret Files World War II. Aesop's Fables, Grimm's Fairy Tales, and a book um, of stories by Aesop, Grimm, and Anderson. Yeah, that's it for um, the 2020 uh, bookshelf collection review of Before and After. I have the dates of both of the times that I recorded both Before and After in the bottom left corner in case you didn't notice. Um, I will be, um, maybe I will make a video on other things that I got for Christmas because I did actually get other things, some pretty cool things. Um, so if you want me to do that, then, uh, just comment in the description of this video and I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's it for today's video then. Um, please subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. And uh, have, have a happy holidays and have hopefully 2021 is not the disaster that 2020 was. So, bye.